Okay, in a few moments, I'm going to ask um, Mayor Tarpey to come up and say a few words. But first, uh, I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the ancestral homeland of many of the diver uh, diverse First Nation and Métis people whose ancestors have walked the land since time immemorial. We are grateful to work, live, and learn on the traditional territory of Treaty 8. And now, uh, Mayor Tarpey. So uh, coming into town this morning, you should have seen the Treaty 8 flag, a flag that symbolizes and signifies that you are on Treaty 8 lands. Nonetheless, I do want to formally acknowledge that we stand on the homeland of many diverse First Nations and Métis people, on the lands of Treaty 8 that are threaded by the mighty Peace River, lands that belong to the original peoples of the continent, whose ancestors walked this land since time immemorial. Lands that are, home, home, are the homeland to the Cree, the Beaver, the Dene Thaw, and the Mishif. Notwithstanding the, the blazing heat, today's Canada Day, the 154th in our collective history, it is a very somber one. It is a Canada Day that was unfolded against the drop, backdrop of the discovery of unmarked graves of 966 Indigenous children at two residential Indian schools. Graves that have laid bare the stark betrayal of our promises to the original peoples of Canada. Graves that underscore the cultural genocide to which we have subjected our original peoples. Graves that remind us that we as a nation have dark corners and a lot to atone for. But Canada Today has never been about just hot dogs, candy floss, and fireworks. Canada Day is about renewing our oath of allegiance to Canada. An oath that reads as follows. I swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, and I will faithfully observe the laws of Canada, including the Constitution, which recognizes and affirms the Aboriginal and Treaty rights of First Nations, Inuit and Métis people, and fulfill my duties as a Canadian. Canada Day and Peace River is about recommitting to our responsibilities and the promises made under Treaty 8. It is about meeting and fulfilling the recommendations of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. After all, the flag that you see behind me, the Canadian flag, that beautiful red maple leaf, its fabric in large measure was spun from Canada's treaties, including our Treaty 8. I would like to close with a personal sentiment, but one I think that is reflective of, of the Peace River Town Council, the province and the nation. I strongly believe in and am deeply committed to Canada as a place where every single person can live a life with dignity and a life of opportunity. Uh, a Canada where every child matters. A Canada where we will never ever leave a child behind again. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor Tarpey. Um, now we are going to uh, do a singing of O Canada as we raise the flag. Uh, Melanie Pittman has generously offered to lead us in the singing. So Melanie. Far and wide, oh Canada, we 
priest and a God for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for Thank you very much, Melanie. That was beautiful. Um, that actually is uh, the conclusion of our event here today. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who took part, uh, the staff at the museum and the rest of the staff from the town, our RCMP <laughs> flag raisers, Melanie for singing, and uh, um, uh, let's see here. Who have I missed? Oh, uh, Mayor Tarpey, of course, for his uh, speech. Uh, I wish you all a great and hopefully cool day today, and uh, hopefully you can enjoy the day. Thank you.